Hi guys I'm very grateful you agreed to meet up, to try to explain no SQL to me. However, I do have to ask why, are we meeting in a sauna? That's because it has a laid back atmosphere. Let me try to explain. Let's sit. It's basically a visual reminder of the benefits of NoSQL. SQL and relational databases are very strict and regimented. They are all about rows and columns. You get this kind of formal and strict definition of how to define and manage your database. Whereas NoSQL is relaxed and agile. It has a much more informal, rapid and flexible approach to getting things done. Throw the rules out of the window. Forget about the formalities and standards. No SQL systems are for the real world. Oh. I think I see. Okay. Let's take Google. They are a prime example of an organization in the real world using no SQL. Google comes up with solutions that actually do both scale and work and make them pretty rich at the same time. Let's think about the kind of style and styling in NoSQL organizations. A good example of this is CouchDB, which is an Apache project. They've gone for this sort of sitting on the sofa approach. Relax is their slogan. All their diagrams explaining how it works tend to be freehand. So I followed their lead and thought we could discuss NoSQL in a relaxed and informal environment like this sauna. Does that help explain? I guess so. Now, tell me, what exactly does NoSQL stand for? Basically, any solution that does not have SQL in it. Others though say that the NO stands for not only SQL. I.e. it's any solution that allows you to access databases using any method other than just SQL. So in summary, it depends on whether you want to be liberal or strict about it, it's either no SQL at all, or it's about the fact that it's something other than just SQL i.e. not only SQL. Exactly. Can you explain non-technically to me a bit more of the differences between SQL and no SQL? Okay, let's use mountain climbing as an analogy. SQL is the proper way to mountain climb with ropes and safety equipment. It relies on tools and techniques followed rigidly and anyone can do it after some training. Whereas no SQL is more like free solo climbing. There's no safety equipment, it's high risk, but you can climb a mountain very quickly. The proper climbers hate the free solo climbers and think they're nuts. The equipment manufacturers also hate free solo climbers as they lose equipment sales. So from what you're saying, both want to climb mountains and will get to the top, but in different styles, time scales, and risk factors. Exactly. The proper climbers get to the top by using equipment to reduce the risk, but the equipment comes at a cost and can slow their progress. Whereas the free solo climbers get to the top faster by knowing the risks along the way and using skills and strength to avoid them rather than getting bogged down with expensive safety equipment. So, it is the fastest and cheapest way up. The free solo climbers sometimes wonder if the equipment becomes more important than the actual climb to the proper climbers. So really it's down to a matter of choice. Apart from the speed of development, what are the major advantages of no SQL? According to Tech Republic, they say the pros are elastic scaling. It scales out and not up. It handles big data. No SQL can go way beyond the capacity of RDBMS. No DBA is needed. Think of the cost saving on headcount. Economics. Think of the cheap commodity servers. It's flexible data modules. Very flexible. Wow those are some pretty big advantages. So come on, what sort of challenges are there for no SQL? Once again, according to Tech Republic, they say the disadvantages are maturity. No SQL is a relatively new technology. Support. The available pool of folks to maintain and enhance these systems is limited. Analytics. Without much of a track record, it's hard to quantify if the claims really hold up over time in real world use. Administration. 
how can a system that doesn't need a DBA be administered? Who feeds and waters the database? Expertise. Where can someone get training, certification, etc.? How do I know if someone is really good? What sort of projects would you definitely say need no SQL? Web scale projects. Because they have big data, complex data and huge numbers of users. You mentioned Google earlier, but who else uses no SQL? Google use Big Table which they originated. Amazon use Dynamo which they originated. Let's not forget Facebook who use Cassandra which they originated. Okay. Those guys are pretty big, and they have all originated their stuff. Are there any no SQL users who haven't? Let me think. Yes, there's Yahoo. Who use Hadoop? And Dig. Who use Cassandra? Twitter also thought of using Cassandra at 1.2. Then there's LinkedIn. Who use Voldemort? Bitly. Who use MongoDB? Let's us not forget the BBC. Who use CouchDB? My goodness. Yahoo, Dig, LinkedIn, Bitly and the BBC. All very impressive. A really hot list of no SQL users. Talking of hot, I need to go for a dip in the pool.